Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 47 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you a couple more examples on how to solve single variable inequalities. So this first one here we have negative 1 over 4x is less than or equal to 3. So what we want to do is we want to get x by itself on the left hand side. So in order to do that we simply need to multiply the left hand and the right hand side by a negative 4. So we have a negative 4 times a negative 1 over 4x on the left hand side. And on the right hand side we have 3 times a negative 4. So we just multiplied the left and right hand side by negative 4. And anytime we multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number we need to flip the sign. So this less than or equal to sign now becomes greater than or equal to since we multiplied by a negative number. So the left hand side we have a negative and a negative which gives us a positive. 4 times 1 over 4 is the same thing as 4 over 4 or 4 divided by 4 which is 1. So this all reduces to the number 1. 1 times x is simply x. And that's greater than or equal to 3 times a negative 4 which is negative 12. And that is our solution. So this basically tells us that we can choose any number that is greater than or equal to the number negative 12, place that value where our x is, and this will produce a true statement. So that's our solution for this inequality here. So let's go ahead and try a second example now. So for the second example, we're going to do 10x plus 6 minus 2x greater than 3 times the quantity of 13 minus x. So the first thing we want to do now is we want to go ahead and distribute the 3 into the parentheses here. So 3 times a 13 is going to give us a 39. And then we'll just move the subtraction sign down here. 3 times an x is going to be 3x. And then we have our greater than sign here. And then we have 10x and a negative 2x. So these are like terms right here. So we just simply just add, or in this case, subtract the coefficients. 10 minus 2 is going to give us 8. So that's 8x. And then we have our coefficient, which is the 6. We'll just put that there. Actually, it's not a coefficient. It's a constant term. And uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to put our constant terms on the right-hand side and our variable terms on the left-hand side. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add 3x to both sides. And then we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. So 8x plus 3 more x's is 11x's. Positive 6 and a negative 6 is 0. Then we have our greater than sign. 39 minus 6 is going to give us 33. Negative 3x and a positive 3x is 0. So now we have 11x is greater than 33. So what we need to do now is we need to divide each side by 11. So this time we're dividing by a positive number. So if we multiply or divide by a positive number, the sign stays the same. It's only when we multiply or divide by a negative number that we flip it. So it's positive this time, so we're just going to leave the sign the same. 11x divided by 11, the 11's cancel, giving us x on the left-hand side. 33 divided by 11, well 33 over 11 is really the same thing as 3 times 11 over 11. And then the 11 over 11 cancel, leaving us with 3. So basically, the right-hand side reduces to the value 3. And x greater than 3 is our solution to this inequality here. So we can choose any number greater than the value 3 and place that value where the x's are, and this will produce a true statement. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. You guys have an excellent day. I really appreciate all the positive feedback and comments that you've been leaving me. So anyway, stay tuned for the next tutorial, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have an excellent day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.